given uh, that we've seen such an intense crackdown last year, we, we are probably close to the bottom. If you look at uh, the incremental news flow in the past uh, couple of weeks, it, it does seem like there is a lot of news, but I don't see anything that is incrementally negative on the fundamental front. For example, um, the the uh, Food Delivery uh, Commission cuts are part of a broader document by the NDRC to support the service uh, industry, and it's not uh, targeted towards uh, the internet companies. Uh, Rumours about uh, uh, further restrictions on online gaming has not materialised, and uh, I think uh, the scrutiny that you saw on Ant Group uh, in, uh, two weeks ago, it's not any different from uh, what we've seen in the past year. And very certain, consistent with what you are saying, uh, Baidu shares post earnings are up almost 9% in Hong yep. Kong uh, trading. But nonetheless, are, are they still undervalued and do they still present an opportunity? Well, the, the strong results, uh, there, there are a couple of things uh, that we can take away from there. The first one is the earnings beat, which shows uh, how much operating leverage they can squeeze out of their core business, and that's a positive. The second thing which they uh, kind of talked about is potentially seeing a bottoming uh, in the growth of their online advertising business in the first quarter and a rebound starting from the second quarter with uh, government easing policies helping. So I think that's, uh, again, uh, a bright spot, uh, not just for Baidu, but for the broader uh, internet uh, uh, industry. And the third thing I think is the most uh, important, um, the commercialization of their AI initiatives is actually progressing very well. They now have robo-taxis uh, rolled out across eight cities. And uh, I think critically, uh, the company is saying that the government is supportive uh, of uh, their AI and autonomous driving initiatives. And uh, these are strategic uh, uh, industries which will enjoy regulatory tailwinds rather than um, the, the headwinds that we've seen in the past year.